Hi, it's Kate. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get your uh, spell check to work in one or preferably more than one language in the new Windows Live Essentials email program. So it's uh, Windows Live Essentials email uh, for the 2011 version. So it, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Just uh, stay with me here. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is open up our Windows Live Mail. And then we want to change some options. So to do that, first click on this little uh, down arrow that's just to the left of the Home tab. And then on Options, and then on Mail. Then go over here to the Spelling tab. Now, here's what is working for me to spell check in two languages. Um, you might be able to monkey around with the settings to uh, automatically uh, switch between those two languages, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So uh, I do have always check before sending. I don't do it automatically. I, I like to have control over it, so I leave that one off. And uh, just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to show you as I type how it works. Now, if you check spelling in current input language, it might sense the difference between English and German. I don't know because neither of the languages that I spell check in is German. Um, so, here we go. Uh, the first thing to do is to get the right language packs in here. Now, um, in this section here called Languages, you'll see uh, the, the name of the language, or a description of it, let's say, down the left side, and the, whether it's available or installed down the right side. So because I correspond with Canadians and with Americans, I have two versions of English installed. Um, currently, because you can see that this one is bold, uh, English United States, that's the one that, that I'm currently checking in. If I go here to English Canada, you, you can see that it's installed. And now if I click on Set Default, you see that it's bold. That's, the, that's what's going to happen. We're going to be spell checking in Canadian. All right. Now, as I went through here, I did notice that there were several versions of German available. So I don't know what version of German you want, but whatever it is, um, click once on it to highlight it. You know, when I say highlight, mine turns it blue. Yours probably turns it blue, but it could be anything. So highlight that, then click over here on install. And there's a little brief pause while it installs that. Once it's installed, you'll see this change from available to installed. And then just uh, with that highlighted, um, you, you want to click on Set Default, as, as I showed you before. Okay, And once you've done that, just click on OK. And that's going to you know, enable that language to be the one in which your email is going to be spell checked. So if we open up an email message, uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit bigger than, than I can show you on one screen. But over here on the right, that's where your spelling is. You should see that if you hover over this check mark, that that it does change color. That that means it's it's active. So um, if I just type a a message here, I'll just type it to me. <laughs> Helps if I spell it correctly. So. Um, Here's a message that we can use to, to test this. All right, so because I'm spell checking in American, uh, it's, uh, it recognizes labor, um, but it doesn't recognize the Canadian spelling of that, right? Just going to save this. So um, if I tell it to change it, well, it will. 
it'll suggest it, um, it'll ignore it, it'll do whatever I want. I can open up the dictionary, I can add it, if it's, you know, like nothing ever spells my name right because it's C-A-T-E, so I can add that spelling. Um, but, you know, how a spell check works, you just have to get it in there. So that's, that's done. I'm just going to close this message and then I'm going to show you what I mean, okay? We, we had been spell checking it in um, American English, okay? I'm going to just change it now to spell check in Canadian English. And I do that by highlighting it, by setting that as default, and by saying okay. Now I open up another message, and uh, rather than type that in, I'm just going to paste it in. And here I'm spell checking in Canadian, so you can see that it no longer recognizes this American way as legitimate, but it is happy with the extra U in, as in the Canadian spell checking. Okay, so I mean that's that's really all there is to it. You you kind of have to figure out how to switch between the languages once you get them installed. It's kind of kludgy, but um, you should be fine. That should be all you need to do. So give that a try, and let me know um, how that works for you.